road trip. <laughs> so on this video, we're going to look at the Ashwell uh, farm campsite, look at the village, decorate Millie up, have a bit of Christmas, have some Baileys. <laughs> that sort of stuff interests you, then uh, stay and watch the video. Talking about toes, here's <laughs> So anyway, here we are in Ashwell Farm Caravan and Camping and Motorhome and something else, I think the title's called uh, Site Sorry, Site? site. Club, club Site uh, Do a quick review, the, as, as you would expect, these are always immaculate uh, ca uh, sites uh, Small, I say small I mean, you cram. It's not massive, as in the fact that you know you could literally spit from here to the toilet. Uh, but it's bijou. Yeah, but we chose that, didn't we? Because it's freezing. Yeah, yeah. Jess has mentioned it's cold about a billion mm. times, and what we're going to do is going to do a tally count <laughs> every time she says, "I'm cold." Guess what? It's winter. Guess it's what? December. We'll do every time Jess says it's cold. We'll have a shot. We yeah. may be an Amy. We might get a little bit drunk. <laughs> so we've got hot chocolate with Bailey's on. Bailey's on, Bailey's, Bailey's in. in. Oh, start drinking already. It's going to get messy. <laughs> we may make it to see the football, France versus England. Uh, Jess has decorated the van. Thank Woo! You. Quick spin round. We've got lights. We've got a Christmas tree. Uh, look at the got these, decorations. We've got these things. Right, go on. Right, oh, seriously. Look at these. Did you not have these when you were growing up? Well, I did. They were the best. Jess is excited. One pound from Don't we spent a fortune decorating One the van for you? I was only allowed a ten pound budget. So we're off to the pub. We've got cheese board. We've got loads of alcohol. Chutneys. Chutneys. And then Meat we're going to go and get dinner in the pub. Go ahead to the pub in a bit. I think. Yeah. It's what a bit time? Cold. Just just point out it's cold. <laughs> so we'll do a quick review. Uh, Update on the drone. I took it for a little bit of test flight. It's poorly. Mm. So I didn't repair it by the look of things. So Darren got told off. Got told off. Yes, you're not allowed, apparently. And it's my own fault. I should have asked. So, mm. you know, you should always ask, is it okay to put a drone up when you're at a campsite? And I, I, I was naughty and I didn't. So I apologise. So we'll give them an idea. It's, it, the bathroom's toilet. I've already had a quick look. Is immaculate. It's a beautiful little site. Bit of a nightmare to find. Cute uh, village, though. Very cute village. We're going to go and review the village and have a look around the village in a, in, in a bit. Uh, not too far from the A1. So you're coming up and down from the A1. It's only about an hour away from, from where we live. So we just quick run down of the van. We haven't been in the van for, for quite a while since we decorated it. And now it's all... My hand's getting tired now. Put it down <laughs> here. I think I put too much Baileys in my hot chocolate. I think it was mainly Baileys with a little bit of hot chocolate <laughs> in them. Because you know why? Do you know why we're drinking hot chocolate? Jess, why are we drinking hot chocolate? Because it's cold. That's free yeah. shot. <laughs> but, Darren, I mean, if you're watching, you will get the problem with this. Took the toffee vodka out of the van in his wisdom. Why? Tidying up. Yeah, she's a bit built. I think he's drunk here. No, uh, we'll save it for another yes. occasion. We may not have enough booze. We've only got eight cans. Mind you, we're going to the pub. But that's it. We, you, you're... 
coming back to the van drinking is very important and we don't have a lot of coming We've back to the van drinking. We've got a bottle of Baileys, a bottle of red wine, eight cans of beer, a bottle of Bacardi with Coke and oh, lemonade God, that's strong, that's strong. and some weird tequila stuff. Did you bring the weird tequila stuff? Tequila! <laughs> yes, we've got some weird no, tequila stuff. Chili, chili flavour. Mm. Ch chili infused tequila. So that will keep us warm. So that's three shots of that so far because it's cold. And I put the ice so we've got ice. ice even though we had ice inside the van the water bottle were all frozen so if you have got your van make sure you've emptied your water tanks we don't need to worry about that with Willie Mace hat is way his hat is too big right for my head Look. small head small brain wow, wow. right we're just talking rubbish now but yeah you'll have a quick look at the van at the campsite and then uh we may be back later when we're drunk. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. So we've got the standard laundrette. It's toasty warm inside here. One washing machine, one dryer, reasonably priced. All wash cycles, four pounds. So you could probably do a wash pound and then 50 minutes dry. You probably need more than 50 minutes. We could probably do a lot of washing and double drying. For less than a tenner uh, but like everything you normally expect with the caravan motorhome club sites everything's immaculate absolutely spotless dishwashing facilities for those that don't like doing the dishes inside the van we don't particularly like doing it in the van we prefer to come here this is the shower and it's my perfect design for showers so you've got a separate shower area here you see the shower and then that's protected by like a door. There's no screen here, but you don't need to because all the water's going to stay in this area. And then you've got a seat. I like to sit down when I'm putting my trousers on. I'm at that, that age now where I like to sit down to put my trousers and my socks on. None of this balancing on a towel. Plenty of hanging space for your clothing. Perfect design showers. There's two showers to this site. And when you look at the size of the site, it's probably perfect. And one of the things I've never seen before, you've got individual private sink area. So there's three sinks here, but they're closed off with a door. So if you just want to come and, I don't know, shave, or maybe men don't want to be topless in front of other men, but I really like this. And again, like everything else with the caravan, absolutely spot is slightly dated, yes, but clean, absolutely immaculate, and very, very warm. So we're off walking into the pub. It's a two minute walk, apparently, if you're on a jet ski. <laughs> Jess. She's telling me how to do B-roll. I need more B-roll. More B-roll, she says. So, here's some B-roll of us walking to the pub. Oh. Tell us about the springs. So, they come through the chalk, and then it feeds into the cam, and then it feeds into the ooze, and then it goes out to the wash, which is 65 miles away. Oh. But, you can see where they come out here, and they come out really, really clear, because it looks like a pond, but it's not, because it's still the spring water coming up. And in the winter, depending on how hot the summer's been, a hundred, no, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was a million gallons a day come up through the snow. Isn't it amazing? I reckon there's some more over here, but in the sea. <laughs> I'm saying, <laughs> this is what the village is named after because it's ash, as in the ash trees, well, and it's Ashwell Village. And it was named in Anglo Saxon times, about 990 AD. Jess, are you lovely and warm in the motorhome? <laughs> are you warm enough? How's your Baileys and hot chocolate? I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Isn't it Christmassy? What the fuck is freezing? <laughs> this is Jess. She's mentioned it, it's, she, she's hardly mentioned it's cold at all. All evening. Yeah, right. <laughs>
Yeah. I'm here in my sh I'm here in my shorts and t-shirt. Some people just love the sound of their own voice complaining, <laughs> don't they? And then we've got some hot chocolates. Got some hot chocolate, Happy got some Baileys, Santa. got cheese board. Happy days. So I think the fact that we've decorated Millie in all the Christmas decorations. Well, decorated Millie? Decorated well Millie? I bought the decorations. And uh, Jess is sat there all happy. <laughs> Because if it was warm, it wouldn't feel Christmassy. She has an electric plug-in blanket, which we'll have to put a link on this on Amazon because it's great the fact that it works with it's the engine star. You can get it from Amazon. It's so. weekly deals for less. £35, absolute bargain. Buy them. They're brilliant. They're just back in stock now as well. But I don't get a kickback off... Uh, I don't care. <laughs> it's a bargain. You should buy it. Scraping but it does on work Facebook group. on the engine star. And I'll put the link in the <laughs> description below. How's your uh, Baileys and, and, and hot chocolate? You're going to make me another one in a minute. I'm going to make you another one, I'm mate. Okay, then. Answers below in the comments. Do we think Jess feels the cold? <laughs> Look at her, bless her. It's all snug. <laughs> <laughs> An electric plug-in blanket. My thermal top. And hoodie thing. And my hoodie thing. Oh, is that where it is? It's <laughs> on my legs. Wow. Wow. Look how warm she is. A hat, look. And a woolly hat. She's got two layers on her head. And Dad told me how to take the shoes off. Really? Yeah, because she won't feel the benefit. I'm quite warm. Morning. <laughs> so, because it was so cold last night, Miss Princess here was too hot. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm taking all her clothes off. So she's naked underneath the bed. I go, <laughs> so, uh, got an oil radiator that was going on most of the night, which was fine. The fan heater we ended up turning off because it did get too warm. We've got a double quilt, thick quilt, a big blanket, and slept with our clothes on. Well, slept with layers on, like pajamas and stuff. And we're fine. So. Hot. Yeah, somebody was too hot. <coughs> uh, and now it's lovely warm. So, uh, lovely sight, lovely evening. Maybe got a little bit drunk. And now it's just a case of having a bit of breakfast. And uh, I'm going to go check out the facilities. I'm going to go for a poo. <laughs> While uh, I'll just tidy up and uh, puts the bed away and makes breakfast. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Breakfast. In bed. This is the romantic things I do. <laughs> breakfast in bed with Jess and we're having a cheese board. <laughs> Comments below, because Jess thinks you can't. Can you have a cheese board for breakfast? <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> Well, I didn't want to abruptly, abruptly, abruptly end the video. We didn't record much after that. We kind of laid, chilled, ate cheese and crackers, uh, watching the world go by and just enjoying the morning. And then realised the time, had a little bit of a panic, realised we needed to get back in time uh, and packed up. And when we were packing up, we broke the bed, which is really frustrating and annoying. More things broken on Millie for me to fix. So if anybody has any recommendations or advice where I can get, you know, the, the slatted beds that kind of Constantine are in to the slot. Uh, I th you've not seen the video before, but basically one of the, the slats totally smashed. Uh, so the bed's not usable until I fix that. So there's more things to fix, which is just, again, frustrating, unfortunately. But, you know, Ashwell Village is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful campsite. If you are a member of the motorhome, uh, caravan and campsite club then recommend you book that place if you're in the area uh, and also the shout out to the pub we went so we checked a few of them out but we ended up staying in the rose and crown uh, which had great food great prices and we stayed there all night and watched the football and as you can see by the video we came back we were a little bit drunk we carried on drinking we were a bit rough this morning so we had our coffees and then and left so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then click subscribe, uh, click the notification, like, comment below. Can you have cheese and biscuits for breakfast? 
Also, if you've got any recommendations on where to get the bed slats repaired or even any advice on how I can repair my drone. I actually think maybe it's just the lens and if, if I take the lens off and clean it up, maybe that picture, but as you see it by the picture, it doesn't look right, does it? So there's something wrong with her, something wrong with the drone. And, uh, and comment below if you've ever been to Ashwell, if you're liking the videos, any comments, any advice, what would you like to see next? You know, please interact. And if you're not subscribed and you're watching this video, click, click subscribe, please, because it does make me and Jess a lot happy, happier and uh, it just helps the channel along. Thanks a lot. Till the next time. Catch you later.